One of the most important things that you can consider when building a website would be which images to use and how to find them. Choosing the right images can take your website from looking like this to looking like this. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to find free stock images for your website, how to choose the perfect image that'll fit your situation best, and how to edit those pictures to look even better on your website. And the best part is, we're going to be doing all of this for free. Let's get started. Okay, so let's talk about where you can get free images for your website just in case you don't have a professional photographer on hand to take pictures for you. There's two different options that you can consider when you're trying to find these images for free, and they're going to look pretty high quality and aesthetically pleasing. Now, these two options are free stock image websites and AI generated images. Okay, so the first place that you can get images for your website would be free stock image websites. Now, I'm going to share with you guys three different websites that I use when I look for free stock images for any sites that I'm building for clients. I'm sure that there's a ton more out there, but these are the three that I trust and I always use. And you don't have to sign up for them or add a credit card or anything like that or submit your email. All you do is you go to the website and download images completely for free. It's that easy. Okay, so the first website is going to be unsplash.com and this is my personal favorite out of the entire list. When you show up to their website, you'll see a bunch of their most recent images or uploads, and you'll have the search bar right here, as well as categories on top. Once you enter something into the search bar, you'll be able to decide what orientation you want the pictures in, in the top right corner. After that, it's as simple as scrolling through until you find an image that you like and then clicking on it. And from here, you can either click on download, which is going to download the largest resolution that they have, or you can hit the drop arrow and decide what size of the image you want. It's that simple and there's no sign up required. Now, the other two websites on my list are going to be Pixabay and Pexels.com. And both of these websites offer the same thing as Unsplash.com. You've got categories on the top that you can click on and use, and you also have a search bar that you can use to find specific images. Now, I usually check Unsplash first to see if there's anything I like, and then if I don't find exactly what I'm looking for, I'll start cycling through the other websites to see if they have something better. So that's what I'd recommend you guys doing. Now, just keep in mind that when you're downloading these high quality images from the free stock image websites, they're usually going to come in large file sizes. So you want to make sure that you use websites like TinyPNG to compress the images so they don't take up too much space on your website and they don't slow it down. Okay, so the other option that you can use to find free images for your website would be using AI generated images. Now, the AI generator that I personally use all of the time and I absolutely love would be Midjourney AI. You can go to their website and sign up using your Discord account and then you literally just open your Discord and join the server and then you can enter into one of the chat rooms and start typing in prompts to get images that you want. First, type in slash imagine and then enter in the rest of whatever you're looking for. So for example, I'm going to search for stock image of a woman eating salad and smiling. And just like that, I get a bunch of images that I can use that were uniquely generated by AI. So they're nowhere else on the internet. That means that I'm allowed to use them for free. Once I like a specific image, I can upscale it just like this. You can also play around with different aspect ratios in your command prompt when you're searching for images and then download it to my computer for free. Now I'm not going to go in depth on how to use Midjourney AI because there's tons of videos on YouTube showing people how to do it. I just wanted to give you guys the idea and the option. So when you're looking for images to fit on your website, it's important to think about where you're going to put them and also what you're going to put on top of them. Most importantly, what you're actually going to put on top of them. Take for instance, this hero section. You'll notice how the image complements the placement of the text on the website. If I were to place in this image instead, you'll notice that the text is hard to focus on because the focus of the image is also right behind the text. If you're planning on putting text on the left side of your screen, then maybe look for a photo where there's open space on the left side. That way the text has room to breathe. Here's an example of how I would look for an image for this hero section that I'm trying to build from scratch. For this example, let's assume that I want a light image in the back. So I'm going to temporarily set the background of the website to white. Then I'm going to add all of my images, text, and buttons. And now that I have a good idea of the layout of the look that I want, now I can start to look for pictures online. Notice how my text and buttons are on the left side of the screen. I'm going to look for a picture with open space on the left. Here's one that looks pretty good. Let's throw it onto the website and add a background overlay to it. And now I have my bright image in the background and it's still easy to see the text on my site. Now the same thing would be true just opposite if I were to choose a dark image in the background of my website. I would just set the background to black and then I would use a text color that's white to set the layout of the website. Next I would find a dark image and put it into the background and voila. Hopefully now you understand the importance of choosing your image wisely while keeping in mind the layout of your website. Specifically the layout of the section that you're trying to find the image for. Next is theme cohesiveness. Now this one might be pretty obvious but I still want to state it anyways. You want to make sure that you have have a cohesive theme throughout the entire website in the images that you choose. If your website is about cats and dogs, for instance, then make sure that most of the images in your background have cats and dogs in them. As obvious
hideous as that sounds, you can take it a step further. Not only are you gonna have pictures of cats and dogs, but it also helps to go even further and have pictures of the same cat and dog, for example, if you're able to get those. Now, if you can't get a bunch of pictures of the same cat and dog, that's okay. As long as you're trying to keep some kind of theme, whatever that may be, coherent throughout the entire website, then it still works. Maybe the whole point of the website is dog walking, for instance. So make sure that you find a bunch of pictures of dogs on walks rather than dogs doing other things like swimming in a pool or sleeping on their dog bed. This type of theme cohesiveness throughout your entire website plays a huge role in your web visitor's subconscious. Everything will feel more connected and professional. Now, the third point I wanna make is style. Different websites will require different styles of imagery. If you're gonna be making a tech website, you're probably gonna to wanna to have very few people in the back background, and you probably want more minimalistic abstract art in the background. On the other hand, if you're wanting to make a website for a construction company, you're going to want to start with a bunch of job site photos on the website, as well as progression pictures and images of workers doing their trade. Some websites have multiple styles, for instance. If you're building a digital marketing agency website, most of the time you want to stick to minimalistic and abstract photos, but at some point you're going to need a picture of people in an office to show off your team. So the next time you go on to one of those free stock image websites looking for pictures, try and stick to a certain style of imagery throughout the entire website rather than just picking a bunch of random images that don't match up very well. Here's an example. Check out this website with a bunch of images that don't really match up and they have really no cohesiveness. And then here's the exact same website with images that were chosen with the website's content in mind. It makes a huge difference, right? Okay, so the final part of this video is talking about editing all of your images so that they all match and have the same color grading style and editing style throughout the entire site. And this is the most important point that I wanted to make in this video. Take a look at these two websites. The first that I'm showing you right now is a bunch of images that are un edited in the background. All I did was download them straight to my computer and then upload them straight to my website. It doesn't necessarily look bad, but it doesn't necessarily look professional and stylized. Now, take a look at the same website where I've edited all of the images to have the exact same theme and color grading style throughout the entire site. It makes a pretty big difference and it makes the site feel like it's a lot more high quality. Every time I build a website for a client, I always download a bunch of images and edit them one by one so that they all match the same style. Then I just upload them all to my website when I'm done. If you want to edit your photos for free, you can do so by creating an account with Canva. Head over to canva.com and you can sign up by creating an account. From your account dashboard, you can go to the design spotlight and then look under photos and videos and then click on photo editor. From here, you can click on edit photo and you're taken to Canva's photo editor. On the left hand side, you'll see the purple upload files button. Click on it and you can upload all of your images at once. From here, one by one, you can edit your photos by clicking on edit photo right here. And then you can crop them and stylize them the way that you exactly want. When you're done, click on the share button in the top right corner and then click on download. You're going to be asked what file type, which I'm going to select JPG, and then I'm going to click on download. Once you've downloaded all of your edited images, you can upload them all in one giant batch to your WordPress dashboard by going to the media tab and clicking on add new. Here you can just upload them all at once and start editing your website with newly and professionally edited images. And just like that, you have images looking top notch on your website. What a difference it makes. Now, if you still find your website isn't looking right or it feels a little boring, then you should check this video out right here. I go over all of the reasons why your website may look a bit outdated or not so fresh. Check it out and see if you can get your site to look even better with these tips. I'll see you there.